nearby the township of Neil. Time for a round of golf. Before heading over to the airport that once trained 10,000 airmen during the Second World War. The Nil Aviation Heritage Centre here boasts a 1941 Avro Anson, currently under restoration. An historic plane that once patrolled Australia's east coast for enemy ships. Its pilots would have trained on this, a Link Trainer, the world's first flight simulator. What an incredible contraption because it is a simulator but they've put the wings on, they've put the tail on and the yeah. tail fin and they've made it look like a, a, a real flying aircraft. That's right. But in here we've got everything from the rudder, we've got the uh, foot pedals, we've, we've got, got all, all the controls. All, all of the normal controls, particularly you know, for the aircraft in those days. Aircraft that are far more complex of course. And of course being a simulator it was meant to be flown through clouds or in the dark and so we had this little little hood, this little cap that had yeah. made it all dark. Yeah. Yes. Way ahead of its time. Oh, visionary, yeah. futuristic almost. Yeah, yeah. Edwin Link, the, the fellow who designed this, had a flying licence in the 1920s and he wanted something that he could practice in. So he thought about this. His father had a piano and an organ factory with all of the pneumatics. This is what the result of his experimenting and trials in those days. 